Known as adorable dogs, pugs are popular dogs with a lot of people interested in them. Originating from China and bred to be faithful companions for the emperors, pugs are known to be devoted, loyal, and with a great sense of humor. Although pugs possess a lot of unique qualities that make them lovable, they are not for everyone. In this video, we will talk about 10 reasons why you shouldn't get a pug, talking about important things you need to consider before getting one into your home. But before we get into the video, if you would like to learn more about your pets, and get useful tips and guides about your dogs or cats, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Because we constantly bring you useful info that will help you be a better pet owner. Let's get started. 1. Lots of health problems. Although they are adorable, pugs are prone to several health issues such as breathing problems and other hereditary issues. Because of their flattened faces, these dogs are brachycephalic, meaning that excess soft tissues block their windpipes, restricting airflow and making it hard for them to breathe. This can make it hard for them to go through physical exercises, as they'll end up panting for breath. It also makes them snore and wheeze, a lot more than you would like. Their eyes are also prone to injury and infections, due to how big they are. 2. They shed a lot. Pug owners are constantly faced with the need to vacuum due to the amount of hair these little dogs shed. Grooming will have to be done regularly and can take a lot of time and energy. If you'd prefer not to deal with loads of hair, have allergy issues, or share your home with someone who does, it'll be a wise decision to think twice about getting the dog breed. 3. They require lots of attention. Having a dog that requires your attention is great, but it becomes annoying when your attention is needed all the time. And it becomes frustrating and you need to pay attention to your dog every second. Pugs need their owners to be available and the center of attention. Leaving them alone for long can lead to unwanted behaviors like digging or scratching or they are not supposed to, or it can cause separation anxiety. 4. They are not easy to train. Training a pug to stop certain unwanted behaviors can be difficult. Apart from being stubborn, these dogs find it hard to relinquish control and it will take a lot of time before they can respond to your commands regularly. Potty training can also be an issue and might take up to six months or as long as a year. 5. Prone to weight gain. Pugs are not active dogs and would prefer napping to playing games. Because of their health issues, they cannot engage in a lot of physical activities and these can lead to weight gain which can also cause more health issues. If you prefer an active dog that will engage in a lot of outdoor activities with you, a pug might not be the right breed. 6. Cannot withstand hot temperatures. Pugs don't do well in hot weather. They can easily overheat themselves which can lead to severe results like stroke. If you live in places with hot temperatures, you should consider going with a breed that might be able to cope with those conditions. 7. Cannot withstand cold temperatures. Pugs are not engineered to fight extreme cold conditions and don't do well when it's cold. If you stay in areas that tend to have extremely cold winters, you'll need to put in a lot of effort to keep your pug safe. 8. Stubborn dogs. Pugs find it hard to respond to obedience training and would rather try to resist. This can gradually become frustrating and might cause you problems. Most of these dogs find it hard to defer to anyone and if you're searching for show and competition dogs, a pug is not a good choice. 9. Snorers. Their narrow airways make pugs terrible snorers. If you're a light sleeper, sleeping at night will become difficult and you might find yourself staying up all night because of your dog. The worst part is, they require loads of attention and trying to keep them off your bed won't work too well. 10. High maintenance. Numerous health issues mean that your pug would have to visit the vet frequently, and this can cause a hole in your pockets. As a pug owner, you need to be prepared to pay expensive bills to keep your canine in good shape. The bottom line is, deciding to get a pug will depend on whether you are ready to ignore all their shortcomings and focus on the pros they offer. But in the end, it would be better to go with a dog breed that is much suited to your lifestyle and requirements. If this video was helpful to you and you would like to see more videos like this, please don't forget to like the video and let us know what your thoughts are in the comment section.